Are you guys excited for the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC? Because I think it looks pretty sick, and I've enjoyed Cyberpunk. Luckily for me, I got into it really late. By the time I got into the game, it was already patched up and stuff, so I thought it was pretty... I thought it was pretty good, pretty fun game. Not without its issues, but definitely a pretty sick game. Haven't beat it yet, got like 77 hours in it. I got this weird thing where I don't like beating games. I'll like get right to the end game in a lot of games, but then just like not beat the final missions or whatever. It makes me kind of sad finishing games. I kind of like leaving them knowing there's still some more things to do if I want to come back to it. But that's a me problem. Let's just move on to the news. Wait, I I, I take that back. We're not going to the news yet. One more side note, because I was rewatching the anime Ajin. Have you guys seen that? I was rewatching it last night. And that friggin' opening scene with that one dude and the helicopter and all that, it reminds me of Max Tack from Cyberpunk. But okay, now, now we'll get to the news. From on Microsoft.com, Witcher Cyberpunk 2077 developer CD Projekt Red to lay off 9% of its staff. Cyberpunk 2077 and the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt developer CD Projekt Red has announced that it will lay off about 100 employees. The studio made the announcement via a news post on its website. The post was authored by CD Projekt Red CEO Adam Kaczynski and said in part, quote, there's no easy way to say this, but today we are overstaffed. We have talented people on board who are finishing their tasks, and based on current and expected project needs, we already know we don't have other opportunities for them in the next year. The outcome is the studio parting ways with around 100 people, which is roughly 9% of the entire team. The Post notes that the layoffs won't begin immediately, and some won't occur until as late as quarter one of 2024, Kaczynski also added, that all affected employees will be offered a comprehensive severance package. The news comes as there are numerous projects in the works related to the company's two massive intellectual properties, The Witcher and Cyberpunk 2077. The latter in particular seems to be hitting its stride, with the Phantom Liberty expansion set to release September 26. In addition, a four-issue comic series titled Cyberpunk 2077 XOXO is coming, with Dark Horse Comics as publisher beginning October 18th, and from Polish sci-fi author Rafal Koshik comes Cyberpunk 2077, no coincidence, a novelization of the Cyberpunk universe, which is expected to release on August 8th. So I suppose the layoffs won't affect the Cyberpunk DLC, unless the DLC releases like Cyberpunk did and they gotta issue like a 100 gigabyte patch immediately and for the next number of months, then they might need that uh, 100 employees. But I'm kind of just making a joke. I mean, surely the DLC will come out better than uh, the base game came out, right? But yeah, jokes aside, you know, like I said, I am excited for the DLC, so it should be good. I think it looks fun. Let me know what you think in the comments and... Let me know what you think about this news with CD Projekt Red overall. Of course, it does affect more than just cyberpunk, as we went over briefly. And yeah, again, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you there.